I like watching Marvel movies on TV. You know, each one of them having their own special, unique power. For example, Thor. He has unmeasurable strength. And he has a hammer that only he can use to fight his battles. Then there's Spider-Man and Spider-Woman. They both can spin webs, climb from building to building, doing acrobatic flips. Then there's Flash. He can move at the speed of sound. Storm. This is the can manipulate weather. <laughs> Iron Man. He can fly. He can shoot missiles. He has a computer that aids him and provides him technical statistics as it relates to distance, angles, and even give him a status report on his uniform. Then there's the Hulk. He can metamorphosize from the size of a normal man to a big green giant that can do massive damage to whatever is in his way. And of course, there's the Black Panther with superhuman strength, endurance, speed, agility, stamina. He's an expert at hand-to-hand -hand combat and martial arts. Genius level intelligence. And from the kingdom of Wakanda. When you watch the movie, I wanted to go to Wakanda for real. The thing is, Wakanda does not exist. Though these are all fictional characters that possess special tools and gifts that increases their chances of success. And even with these tools that are fictional content, they still had to learn how to use them and apply them correctly. Now when I look in the mirror, I clearly see that I do not possess any of those fictional gifts. And if not careful, one could get caught up in the fiction and wonder if God was even fair in his mighty distribution of talents. You see, as a kid, I wanted to be a superhero. I wanted to possess some of them gifts that I saw, that of the Marvel characters. But let's be clear, that God was very clear and very decisive in his distribution of talents. He blessed us all with talents, genius level talents. He blessed and gifted us all with the ability to learn. Rather than learn is good or bad, big or small, we can learn. Though at different levels, we can learn. I am convinced that as an educator, I work in an educational environment, therefore I possess some tools. Some tools that help in so many people find their superpower. A superpower that can uplift, empower, and motivate. You see, we are all educators with gifts and tools to educate. Each one teaches one, right? We should all be learners with the willingness to make the necessary changes for the better when it comes to teaching. Education is powerful. Education can reduce prison recidivism and smash poverty. Every morning when I walk into my office, this poster is a consistent reminder to the power of education. This is school in 1870 that was for freed slaves and it titles The Power of Education. And it reads, even in the midst of our worst struggles, our forefathers knew that part of our enhancement and growth began with the sound education. I cannot allow just myself to be honored on today for I stand on the shoulders of 2.3 million justice-involved incarcerated individuals here in America. And I know for a fact that many of them are far more skilled and astute than I would ever be. <laughs> but me being God's favorite guy, <laughs> his favorite child, I am grateful to God, to all of you, to the Craven Community College Foundation, the Community Fabric Award Committees, for looking beyond my faults to find my good. Thank you.